Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Nines. It's your host Fletcher, and today we are doing a review on the Streamlight ProTac 2.0. Here we have it there Streamlight ProTac 2.0. This is a rechargeable flashlight by Streamlight. One of the features is, is when you plug it in, the light here by the charging port will glow red until it is fully charged and then it'll glow green. That closes up with an O-ring to make it watertight. Clip, you have lanyard attachment point here. You have ridges because it's a tactical flashlight. So for anything like bashing, I will just show you the batteries real quick. It takes one battery that looks like this. It's a USB-C rechargeable SL-B50, and it has a 4,900 milliamp hour storage with 3.6 volts. Just to show you how bright the light is. That's during the day, strobe mode, and then there should be, I'm gonna do it off camera, there is a low mode. The collar does not slide up or down to channel the light. It just, it casts very well. That's maybe 24 inches from the table. I'm not gonna get too much into the technical side on this, just cause you'll be able to look up those features. I am mainly gonna be talking about my experience because this is the end of the flashlight carry, at least for the Streamlight ProTac 2.0. And so I just wanna get into my experiences with this light and whether or not I'd recommend it to you guys. So, just to clear the air, Streamlight did send this to me. They sent it to me for me to carry and to review. They did not tell me what to say or anything like that. They just sent it to me and they wanted my thoughts on it. All right. This flashlight is normally $119. I think last time I looked on Amazon, that's what it was going for. I believe it is a thousand lumen, thousand lumen strobe, and then I think the low is something like 250. I could be wrong on that, it could be higher than the 250. This is kind of meant to be a tactical flashlight, ProTac, hence, right? And it's meant to be used in tactical situations. So that's why it's so bright. It'll light up a whole room, no problem. And if you get there and there's someone who's unfriendly, you can do the strobe, blinds them, disorients them, and it allows you to take control of the situation. Now, in terms of my experiences using this, I will say this is an amazing light. In terms of the way it can cast light and light up a whole room is amazing. I've already shared this, but I, I'm using this to film videos. That's why I had to wait for it to be light outside instead of filming my videos at night like I normally do. So just so I could do this review. Just so I would have enough light to do this review, right? So, on the thousand lumens, if I put it on the table, like, like so, and with the light on, cast it towards the ceiling... It will lighten up the whole room and cast the light back down on the table, almost like one of those ring lights. And that's off of a white ceiling. That's maybe from the table six feet. So at, at six feet, it's reflecting light off of white paint back onto the table. 
and taking away shadows from my videos. One thing I did notice is this does get hot. I mean, you are talking about a thousand lumens. So just keep that in mind that, that this does get hot and to maybe not touch it after you've been using it for a while. I notice the hottest it ever got is I'd maybe been forming videos for 40 minutes or something like that. And so it had been on upright for 40 minutes. It got pretty hot. I just put it in the freezer, <laughs> funny enough, and put it, in, put it in the freezer, let it do its thing, and then after maybe about 30 minutes, it was good. Another thing I'll do too is if you're worried about heat is I'll actually just use my hand as a heat shroud and pull the, let radiation basically pull the heat out. The weight of this guy at first, just cause I wasn't used to having anything on my belt was kind of weird to have, but now that I'm used to it, if I forget this and I don't bring it to work, it's like part of me is missing. So the the flashlight or the weight of the flashlight, my body has definitely gotten used to. The bright is amazing. If you go into any dark room, you sometimes don't even need to shine exactly what you were on because it's so bright it might actually reflect back at you. I've had that happen. I had it reflect off of like drywall, which was actually quite funny. So sometimes what I'll do is when I'm looking for something, I just set it upright and it brightens up the whole room and then I'll just kind of do my thing. So it's kind of like, it's almost like having a mini lantern. The battery on this is actually pretty decent. I have never had it die on me during the month or probably two months I was carrying this. I have never had it die on me. And that's even while using it basically as a studio light to film my videos. And so that's pretty, that's pretty demanding. You know, I have some nights where I, I film three 20 minute videos and that's an hour straight of a thousand lumens. The body of the flashlight didn't suffer any damage. I believe it's just anodized aluminum. But the sheath they gave me for it is actually pretty good. So let me just show you. You know, it is meant to be a tactical flashlight. So they don't want someone to be able to take it from you and then blind you with it. This, just you wrap it around your belt with your belt already on and then close it up, right? So that hangs on your belt like so. The Velcro for this is quite forceful. And then that is as well as to get that out. So there was actually one day when one of the guys on the gun counter was trying to mess with me and he was trying to pull the flashlight up and out. And because the case is so tight, he just couldn't. And I noticed even before he got to the knife, it was just pulling it up, right? Because the Velcro, so it was pulling it up on my belt and I could feel it. And I was like, what the heck is going on? So in terms of retention, it's actually very good. So if you're thinking about this light for tactical use and not just general everyday use, very good in that aspect. You don't want something that can then be turned on you. And you don't want something you can lose. Never, never lost that light in the 60 days. I carried it and use it. No problems whatsoever. I did not lose it. The case didn't come off, the light didn't fall out, didn't slip out, anything like that. And to be fair, it's a pretty sizable light, so it'd be really hard to miss. One thing I will say is the controls are rather comfortable once you get the hang of them in terms of you know, turning the light on. And uh, There is a, you can just hold it down, it'll just turn it on, and then you can click it. So the way the 10 tap programmable works is you tap it until you find the setting you'll want and then you press in and it holds it at that setting okay i believe i also used this one night out on a on a rural road i just wanted to see how it would kind of do and it again lit everything up 
So this is a good night option too for campers just because the light you're throwing out is so intense that there's, it almost reminded me of looking at daylight. Like I had my own little bubble of daylight and everything else around me was night. You know, and we're talking like midnight. The sun's not up whatsoever. And so I kind of, <clears throat> with my little bubble of daytime, I could see everything. I could make out the details of the plants way better, their colors, anything on the ground. I could tell whether or not I was going to step on a snake or anything like that. Which was nice to have. And it definitely made the experience more fun in terms of just being able to see and know exactly where you are. The strobe is actually quite nice in terms of if you are using this in a tactical situation, you turn that strobe on, boom, disorients them. But you also have a lower mode, the low mode, which is nice to have as well. There are a few times where I was using the light and the thousand lumen was because it was so bright was bouncing off of what I ever kind of had a glossy sheen on it and threw it back at me. And so I just clicked down to the low beam and used that and then that wasn't a problem. So I could see why they put the low beam on there. It's still with the low beam and it's it's still a very powerful beam. I mean, the low beam on this is like the high beam on most EDC flashlights. Now, I guess the question would be now, with kind of having some insight in terms of how useful this light was, would I buy another one, right? Or I, I should say, would I buy one, because this one was given to me, and would I recommend that my friends and family buy one? For something like a go bag, or maybe someone who is in law enforcement, 100%. 100% I'd recommend this to them. It's a great light. It does basically everything you kind of need it to do for your job. And it's strong. And there's going to be no chance of you not being able to see something because your flashlight beam isn't strong enough. You know, which is kind of a problem that's disappearing now just because of how good even the EDC flashlights are. But with this, like I said, you light up a whole room. You're going to be able to see. Dependable. And the battery life lasts long enough to where I've never had a problem with it. It never died on me. So for, for people in professional situations where having a good light that is very bright and you need it to be reliable, I definitely recommend the Streamlight. ProTac 2.0. Is it worth the $120? Yeah, every bit of it. You know, you're getting a rather strong light. For less money, you can get less light, right? But you kind of have to view it as, in terms of, for me, even if I had paid that $120, the fact that it continued to let me make my videos, because I could use it as a studio light, because of its very bright light and the ability of it to cast light around a room made it worth it for me because my wife likes to move furniture around and so our table gets moved around and that's where I film our stuff and so now that I know if she moves the table somewhere else I can still make my videos. Another being is I like going outdoors and I like fishing, I like hunting, I like hiking and I've never really had an amazing flashlight to take with me, but now I do. And so anything that can kind of extend the amount of time that I can be outdoors and kind of just be in nature is worth every dollar of me. So if you're someone who is making a go bag, this is a great option. Only thing to keep in mind is you need some kind of solar powered, maybe power bank to keep this guy charged up just because it doesn't run off of replaceable batteries. If you're looking at it for, say, everyday job because you work in tactical situations, yes, the very bright light and the very bright strobe, it's going to help you take control of a room, no problem. And the 10 tap, it's very easy to select and deselect modes. 
Again, also the case is very good, so it's not gonna slip out on you. It's, for the amount of power in this light, it is actually very lightweight, you know, compared to, say, if you were to take something like a Olight and their i5 series, where it's kind of the thicker, heavier AA battery. If you were to compare that to this in terms of weight to strength of light ratio, I'd be I'd be hard pressed to think that this wouldn't beat it. So you get a very strong, very lightweight light. And so for those in tactical situations, it's great for them. Now, if it was something like, say my mom was coming to me and asking me about a light, the only time I'd probably recommend this to her is if she was like overnight camping and she wanted something to wear, right? She went to the bathroom or something like that and she wanted something that could just light up the whole way to wherever. Yeah, I'd recommend this to her, but otherwise, I guess someone like my mom who's not really going out as much as me, I'd probably recommend one of Streamlight's EDC lights to her because they also have other great options. But for those that need a heavy-duty, bright light that has a very good battery on it and has the strobe and a case to where you're not going to lose the light but that it can stay with you, I recommend the Streamlight ProTac 2.0. And again, thank you to Streamlight for sending it to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for watching this series. Let me know any questions down below, maybe any stories you have about Streamlight. I'd love to hear them, whether they're good or bad. It just helps people make informed purchases. If you guys enjoyed this video and you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you do like these videos, and it lets you know when new ones are posted. And if you can, hit that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't you forget to stay sharp.